And new tonight, 13 Investigates uncovers another animal death at the Sequest attraction in Las Vegas. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Quinones. And I'm Trisha Keen. This time, it's an otter, the second to die in three months, and this one got trapped underwater. And 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears continues her ongoing investigation into repeated problems at the hands-on exhibit. They came up to me and they said that the otter had gone into the tube, and I guess it got shredded and that it died. A former Sequest employee spoke on condition of anonymity to Nevada voters for animals at a protest outside the Boulevard Mall earlier this year. Then the death was just a rumor. Now it's confirmed. They would just say, oh, he's sick, and then they just replace him. They're like, oh, no, that's the same otter, you know, because yeah. guys don't know any better. Jelly is one of two female otters that died at Sequest in 2018. As we've reported, this one... <laughs> Its paws raw and reddened was taken to Sequest's vet shortly before it died in May 2018. We obtained the necropsy report, which says the stress of shipping to Vegas, introduction to a new environment, and caging during construction may have caused fatal cardiac consequences. You know, Gina Grayson of, day, of Nevada I Voters for Animals. How many, how many animals need to die? for our entertainment or, or pleasure. A new otter Sequest brought in without a permit had babies in violation of the county's ban on exotic animal breeding. Sequest was fined $2,000 for that. During their failed attempt to appeal the animal control citation and fine, a second otter death was revealed by Sequest general manager David Nearhouse, seen here on his LinkedIn profile. Okay, what happened to the second otter that you received a permit for in May. The second otter passed away. She got caught in one of our filtration systems. They were able to, the otters were able to open them up and got her, one of her arms caught in the filtration system. Um, the and in, when did the that intake. occur? We asked Sequest if that otter drowned or, as employees allege, she was butchered by a fan in the filtration system. Sequest did not respond to our questions, but said this to the arbitrator. So when that happened, we notified Animal Control, we notified USDA. USDA came in and we had to um, take preventative measures before we'd be allowed to have, have the male otter peanut be able to swim back in the water area again, which we did. We had peanut out of the water for approximately a month while we took care of that. What we don't know is who Sequest consulted before building an otter enclosure with a filtration system that proved not to be otter proof. And when we asked, Sequest again did not respond. This former Sequest employee we spoke to several months ago told us in some cases, employees with no experience building anything were forced to build the enclosures. We weren't licensed to do that. They would order these animals and be like, all right, you got three days. There's still some confusion about just how many otters have come through Sequest Las Vegas. A combination of records from Animal Control and the Nevada Department of Wildlife document five, but their county permit allows for only two. It's nothing that we're trying to intentionally trick animal control. That's not what our purpose has ever been. So where are they? Are they dead? Are they alive? Are they hidden? Were they sent off to other facilities? We've asked animal control that question and are still awaiting an answer. In the meantime, Nevada Voters for Animals is asking county leaders to hold a public hearing about whether Sequest should be allowed to continue operating in Las Vegas. Darcy Spears, 13, investigates.